the covered call. A covered call strategy involves selling a call option on a stock that you hold, but it also consists of selling one call option and at the same time buying 100 shares in the underlying stock. The selected strike should represent the trader's ideal price for selling the underlying stock. Selling the call option reduces the purchase price of the underlying stock. To build a cover call option, you need to buy 100 shares of the underlying stock and sell one call option. The trader who uses a cover call option expects the price of the stock to stay relatively unchanged or increase slightly at least until the option expires. This strategy has a ratio of 100 to 1. If you buy 100 underlying shares, then you will need to sell one option. The maximum gain is the difference between the strike and the stock's purchase price, plus the net premium received. The maximum loss is limited to the difference between the stock's purchase price and the net premium received. The break-even is the difference between the stock's purchase price and the net premium received. Consider the payoff diagram. A represents the strike of the call option sold. The point indicates the break-even. If, at expiration, the price of the stock is higher than the break-even, a limited profit is realized. On the other hand, if the price of the stock is less than the break-even at expiration, a net loss is incurred. In a cover call option strategy, the maximum loss is incurred when the price of the stock is zero. So the risk of this strategy is very limited. Ideally, the price of the stock will be close to or higher than A when the option expires. The profit is the difference between the break-even and A. Furthermore, if the call option is not exercised, the trader can sell another one. As a trader, you should be looking for transactions with the lowest risk and the highest returns. Here is an example on Metro Incorporated, ticker symbol MRU. First, you buy 100 MRU shares at a price of $42.13 each. Then you sell the call option with a strike of $44 and receive a premium of $0.60. Cents. The cost of the spread that you have generated is $41.53. Let's take a look at the risk analysis. The total cost is $4,153. The maximum gain is $247. The difference between $44 and $42.13 plus the $0.60 cents net premium received on the option. The maximum loss is $4,153. The $42.13 purchase price of the shares less the $0.60 cents premium received on the option. The break-even is $41.53, and the option has a term of 126 days. Calculating profits and losses on this strategy is quite straightforward. Just calculate each leg separately and determine the net result. The first column shows a simulation of share prices on the expiration date. 
if the share price is less than $41.53, the break-even, the call option is out of the money. The net loss will be the difference between the share price at expiration and the cost of purchasing the stock plus the credit related to the call option sold. If the share price falls between $41.53 and $44, the call option is still out of the money, but a profit is realized. If the share price is above $44, the call option will be in the money. The net profit will be the difference between the share price at expiration and the purchase price of the shares, less the value of the call option, plus the credit related to the call option, for a net profit of $2.47.